Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. About a half an hour ago, there was a magnitude 5.2 earthquake up there in Shasta County, Northern California. Let me take these roads out. It was between Mount Shasta and Mount Lanson. USGS has revised it to a magnitude 5.0. They gave it an intensity level of 5. 221 people said they felt this earthquake. Um, yeah, we got spreading here. Now, intensity level 5, for those that did send in reports, it felt like maybe a 3.5 to a 4.0 to those that so far USGS has accepted reports from, meaning it was felt by most people some breakage, dishes, windows, plaster, and disturbances of tall objects. Uh, you might want to check your gas and water lines. Make sure there's no leaks. Don't use a lighter to check for gas. You get a bottle, fill it with um, water and soap, and you spray it on your, your gas lines. Some of the reports that have been sent into EMSC. Here it says from Reading, it was very strong shaking. Um, another one from Reading felt enough to know that it was an earthquake. Dogs perked up, windows creaked, wobbly movement, not hard. That was Hamilton Branch. Okay, Weaverville felt rolling, ceiling lights barely swinged. That was 120 kilometers west. So that would be about 75 miles. Another report from Roseville which is 249 kilometers south, which would be 154 miles again south. I actually didn't feel it, but my small dog was acting very strange. He ran to me and then stood with his head down like he was sick and stared at nothing. But then a few moments later, he just settled down. That's when I got the alert that there had been an earthquake. Yeah, pets are really good indicators. Six earthquakes that USGS is reporting so far, a magnitude 2.1, a 2.5, a 2.3, 2.3, and a 2.4. All um, shallower than the initial 5.2 that USGS has revised to a 5.0. Um, there should be some threes mixed in there. So I don't think this is over. Any earthquake has a 20% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. What is interesting is that about 45 minutes prior to this earthquake, according to what's showing up here on the Yellowstone monitor, there was an earthquake in Mexico. Um, you can't really see, but it's a long P wave. This one right here, let me get this highlighted. This is the earthquake that occurred in California. Yeah, they should have some more coming at least at least one, maybe a 3.2. Now this shows the earthquake there in California as fault movement. See, all sharpened points. Let me look at something else. All right, this is the monitor for Maple Creek, which I downloaded the data. Uh, let me go here. It went small. See how it shook up the caldera? We got um, volcanic tremor here. This, I believe, I could be wrong is an earthquake that occurred in Mexico. There was quite a few going on. Let me show you. That one, too, is also a volcanic tremor. At 1637 Universal Time, there was a magnitude 5.8 there in Mexico. Uh, do I have it open here? Yes, I do. USGS gave it an intensity level of 8 which means panel walls were thrown out of frame. Fall of walls, monuments, chimneys, sand, and mud ejected. This is a very strong earthquake. Drivers of automobiles disturbed. Now, 67 miles northwest from this earthquake there in Mexico, they said they didn't feel anything. They were having coffee at the table and felt the alarm. Uh-oh, that's bigger. Another one uh, says we were rooftop at the hotel. All guests and staff were evacuated. That was scary, but we are safe. 
and then another one from Mexico, which is 138 kilometers. That would be about 87 miles northwest, said they felt a gentle shaking. Now, this was a thrust earthquake. You can see how one side rose up. The other side moved um, going towards the southwest. My first guess, looking at these different earthquakes, there was also another more recent one up there um, in the geysers. I would say that the North American plate is moving um, probably southwest. And that's what's causing these. Let me zoom back into this area here. I'm going to download more data later. It takes me a while to um, get the data and then upload it and all that. But let's see, what are we at now? We're at 8, the latest being a 2.3. Yeah, we got reports from close to Klamath Falls. This is up there at the geysers in uh, Northern California. Uh, let's see how far down south. Okay, we got one right there. Intensity level 6. Wow. Westwood. Um, intensity level 6. Um, Cassell. Now, intensity level 6. Right here, it says, Felt by all. Many were frightened. The rain outdoors. Falling plaster and chimneys. Small damage. Yeah. Um, did you have damage from this earthquake? Um, I know you do, but I don't know if you're watching my video. Please put your comments down below. I hope everyone is safe. Interestingly here, uh, intensity level 5 from, from Fall River Mills, it says. Another one there, intensity level 5. Um, MacArthur, intensity level 5. Interesting that most of the stronger shaking was to the uh, northeast. Yeah. This also may have very well been a thrust earthquake. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some re more research, but I wanted to get this out. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.